Hi guys, I am making a strong decoction tonic for someone. So I already started it, but I had to stop my video because of a certain reason. <laughs> um, so what I have in the blender right now is very strong chugga tea. This is a decoction. This has been in a crock pot uh, with a big chunk for a month. So it's really, really full of medicine. So we know what chugga does. It uh, boosts the immune system and it repairs the DNA. So when I say that repairs the DNA, whatever's wrong in your body, so so many different ailments, chugga goes in and it repairs it. So I can't say it does one thing, it does so many things. It rebuilds your um, immune system up too. So I already got the chugga in, that's why it looks like that. So what else I'm putting in is dandelion roots. So this is gonna be for the liver. So I had already put some in there, but I'm gonna put the rest. Actually, not all of it, maybe just that much. Dandelion roots, and then I've got rose hips that are going in. This is loaded with vitamin C. So these were all just busted up into a fine powder. And then we've got the lion's mane for the brain. This will stimulate new brain cells and repair old damaged cells in the brain. So this is going to be a morning movement tonic. It's going to get him moving in the morning. And he loves the pineapple juice, so this is 100% pineapple juice, the pure stuff. It's not like a concentrate or anything like that. So I'm going to put that in. I'm just going to uh, put some honey in. So I've got the pure unpasteurized honey. This is a great one. I get the Kirkland brand at Costco's. I like it. So we're going to put that in. This is going to be so lovely. Now he can, where there's so much medicine in this, he can actually make it concentrate. So he can take like pineapple juice and then take this tonic that I make for him and just do like a half and half so it'll last him a while i'm going to put my blender on for a second look at that that looks great i'm going to add the key component a little more of the Con well, the uh, decoction of the chugga, which is very, very strong. Like I say, it was brewing in the crock pot with a huge chunk for over a month. So that's all there is to it. I'll give it another little uh, blend up for probably like two or three minutes. And then I'm going to pop it into a glass container and put it in the fridge and bring this to him. And then he'll do his own juice and then just put half of this tonic in it every morning to boost up his brain with the lion's mane. Um, his vitamin C count will go up with the rose hips and the dandelion roots will um, go into the um, liver and clean the liver actually works with the gallbladder and a whole bunch of other, other organs in that area. Um, so, and the pineapple juice is just lovely. And then we know what honey does. <laughs> Honey's antibacterial, antifungal. So it works great with all these things. So that's how you make a strong decoction. I would call it a smoothie, a medicinal smoothie. He can add ice to it. And even if he wants to step it up a bit, he can add some coconut milk to it, put it into the uh, blender and it'll become creamy. And that's it, folks.